All right, you are welcome again. Today, we are going to talk about Bernoulli differential equation. You know, previously we have talked about this Bernoulli differential equation and I've introduced the course. Please, I want you to watch the video for a detailed explanation. But in this one, we are going to solve a problem. And what is the problem? We are asked to solve this differential equation. dy dx plus y tan x is equal to y raised to power 3 sec 4x. Okay? Sec 4x. So this is the differential equation we are asked to solve. Carefully looking at this differential equation, we discover that this equation is a Bernoulli differential equation. A Bernoulli differential equation. Please pay attention and see step by step. Very simple method on how to solve problems like this. Now, please pay attention. When you have a Bernoulli differential equation, how will you even know that this is a Bernoulli differential equation? Number one, you have to identify how a linear differential equation looks like. Now, this linear differential equation, the right-hand side is having y attached to it. So you see that it is what? A Bernoulli differential equation. Okay, please, I want you to watch a video on Bernoulli differential equation in order to know how to identify it. All right, good. Now, let's go. The first thing we do is this. We identify the particular thing that makes this Bernoulli equation different from linear differential equation. What makes this equation different from linear differential equation? You see that it is y cube. So we want to reduce this equation now to linear where we can solve it. So for us to reduce it, we look for why it is not linear differential equation. It's because of this y cube. So we try a possible best to remove this y cube. So for us to remove this y cube, that means we multiply by the inverse of this y cube. So the inverse is going to give us y raised to power what? Minus 3. Hello? y raised to power what? Minus 3. So when you multiply y cube by y raised to power minus 3, what will it give you? It is going to give you what? 1. So that means automatically it have disappeared, right? Good. So we multiply through, we multiply everything by y raised to power minus 3. So doing so, we are going to have y raised to power minus 3 multiplied by dy dx plus tan x y multiplied by y raised to power minus 3 is equal to y cube multiply by y raised to the power minus 3, sec 4x. Alright? Good. Now, let's go. In the center term, where we have y multiplied by y raised to the power minus 3, using the law of indices, we will add their powers since they are having the same base. So, adding their powers, the first one is having power 1, the second one is minus 3. So we have 1 minus 3. It's going to give us minus 2. So we are going to have y raised to power minus 3 dy dx plus tan x y raised to power minus 2 equal to sec 4x. All right? Good. Now from this place, can we call the letter y raised to the power minus 2 z yes this y raised to the power minus 2 we can call it a letter what z so if you call it a letter z 
Can we differentiate this z with respect to x? That means we are going to have the z all over the x is equal to differentiating this y raised to the power minus 2 as if it is x, then multiply it by dy dx. So we are going to bring this minus 2 down. So we are going to have minus 2 multiplied by y raised to the power minus 2 minus 1. So minus 2 minus 1 is going to give us minus 3. So multiply by dy dx. Okay? So this z equal to y raised to the power minus 2. Let's call it what? Equation 3. And then this one we obtain now, the z all over the x equal to minus 2 in bracket y raised to the power minus 3 dy dx. Let's also call it equation 4. All right, good. Now, going back to equation 2, can we multiply this equation 2 by 1 minus n? What is our n? That is the power of y. The power of y in the right hand side is what? Is 3. So here we can multiply by 1 minus n, where we say that n is equal to 3. So that means we have 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So let's multiply equation 2 by 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. So doing so, we're going to have minus 2 multiplied by y, raised to the power minus 3 dy dx, plus minus 2 multiplied by tan x, y raised to the power minus 2 is equal to minus 2 sec 4x. Okay? So now, let's call this equation 5. So now, we can substitute equation 3 and equation 4 into equation 5. Substituting equation 3, equation 4 into equation 5. So that is to say, in equation 5, anywhere we see y raised to power minus 2, we replace it with z. And in this same equation 5, anywhere we see minus 2 multiplied by y raised to the power minus 3 dy dx, we replace it with what? The z. Doing so, we're going to have the z all over the x minus 2 tan x z is equal to minus 2 sec 4 x. Okay? Yes. Now, do you still remember the form of uh, differential linear equation. Linear differential equation comes in form of dy dx plus py is equal to q. Okay? So, and then, we deduce Bernoulli differential equation to linear differential equation. So, the deduced form gives us the z all over dx plus p1 of z is equal to q1. Okay, the z all over the x plus p1 of z is equal to q1. Alright, so please, I want you to watch our videos on introduction to Bernoulli differential equation so that you understand better. Alright, good. Now, comparing this equation 6 that we have now with the Bernoulli equation, standard Bernoulli equation, we will see that p1 is equal to what? Minus 2 tan x. That is, the coefficient of z is our p1. And there was whatever that is in our right hand side is our q1. Okay? So now, our p1 is equal to minus 2 tan x. Now, we solve this now as if it is a linear differential equation. And I'm very sure you know how to solve differential linear equation, right? Okay, please, if you are not too good in it, we have several videos on how to solve linear differential equation. Please, do yourself the good by watching them, okay? Now, let's go. We have P1 to be minus 2 tan x, okay? So, let's integrate this P1 with respect to x. Let's integrate. So, integrate, we are going to have the integral of minus 2 tan x dx. Minus 2 is a constant. We take it behind. 
so that means we have minus 2 integral of tan x so we will integrate tan x is going to give us minus lin cos x hello when we integrate tan x is going to give us minus lin cos x but you remember we have minus 2 outside so multiplying it now is going to give us positive all right so we have the integral of p1 dx is equal to 2 lin cos x all right good now let's go further to find the integrating factor integrating factor say that we take the exponent of the integral of p1 dx that is we have e raised to power the integral of p1 dx we just found uh, p1 dx okay so we take the exponent of it taking the exponent of it we have the exponent that is e raised to power 2 lin cos x okay so you remember in logarithm when you have something like 2 log x base 4 or base anything you know these two will come in front of x that means you have log x squared base 4 is it true yes so in this case we have lean that is the what the natural log okay lean the natural log so now it's the same thing here we have two by the side we can take two in front of x so going is going to be what squared so here we're going to have e lean cos squared x okay we're going to have e raised to power lean cos squared x you see how the the squared come about right good now that means our integrating factor is what cos squared x the lean we cancel the exponents okay we are going to have cos squared x all right so now we are told that the solution to this differential equation is going to give us z multiplied by integrating factor is equal to the integral of q multiplied by integrating factor dx hello do you understand this z multiplied by the integrating factor is equal to the integral of q multiplied by the integrating factor dx so what is our integrating factor we just obtain it to be what cos square x so we say z cos square x is equal to the integral of what is our q our q is minus 2 sec 4x then multiply by our integrating factor we just obtained now which is cos squared x we have the x okay good now let's go we have z cos square x is equal to the integral of minus 2 you know this sec 4x you know sec is talking about the inverse of cos that is you can see one all over cos is that true so but here we have four of it that means we can say 1 all over cos squared x times 1 all over cos squared x. We are permitted. We can write it this way. So when we say 1 all over cos squared x times 1 all over cos squared x, multiply it is going to give you 1 all over cos 4x. Okay? 1 all over cos 4x, which is the same as sec. Okay? So multiply by cos squared x. So... One of the cos squared x will cancel one under. Okay? So we are going to be left with one. And then that one we are left with is the same as saying sec squared x. So that means we have minus two, the integral of one all over cos squared x dx is we can take minus two outside or behind the integral sign. So taking it behind the integral sign, we have minus two, the integral of sec squared x remember one all over cos square x is the same as sec square x we have the x right good now integrating sec square x when we integrate sec square x is going to give us tan x hello 
when we integrate sec square x is going to give us tan x all right but you remember we have minus 2 so here we have minus 2 tan x plus c now you know we have z cos square x is equal to minus 2 tan x plus c let's try and see how we can remove this cos squared x from z so that means we multiply everything by what the inverse of cos square x which is 1 all over cos square x is the inverse right 1 all over cos square x and it's the same thing as saying sec square x so that means we multiply both sides by sec square x doing so we have z is equal to sec square x open bracket minus 2 tan x plus c all right but you remember that in our equation 3 we say that z is equal to y raised to power minus 2 so that means in place of this z we can replace it with y then we say y is equal to sec squared x open bracket minus 2 tan x plus c we can remove this raised to power minus 2 by multiplying the power by minus 1 all over 2 okay so when we multiply you are going to have y is equal to sec squared x open bracket minus 2 tan x plus c only bracket raised to power minus 1 all over 2 all right yes you can go further and simplify or you can leave it this way so therefore this is the solution corresponding to the differential equation dy dx plus y tan x equal to y cube sec 4x all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you have not subscribe like and share our videos stay blessed let's take more examples